A good afternoon, friends. Today is Thursday, August the 29, 2024, and the time now is 5.39 p.m. Was the Kursk offensive or invasion a diversion? And if so, was it a failure? So, friends, this is just a brief update or a brief take an article which I came across. It is basically a Forbes uh, magazine article. The article basically suggests that Ukraine's invasion of Russian Kursk region was a diversion. And based on the analysis presented in the article, it is hinting or stating whether explicitly or not. In some cases, when you read the article, it is as if it is being explicit. And in some uh, cases, when you read the article, it is as if it forces the reader to guess or to make inference. What the article is saying, at least the bigger picture, is that based on statement from other sources or from experts or even from the Ukrainian command, the forces that Ukraine used to invade Kursk, they should have been left in the Putskrov region or city where they should have been guarding the city. But as a result of them leaving to invade uh, Kursk, it left the place unguarded. Because Ukraine invaded Kursk, the extra main power that it could have used, they were away in Kursk. So as a result, Russia was able to make rapid advancement towards uh, the Port uh region or city. Now, in terms of the whole idea of the invasion of Kursk being a diversion, it is said in the article that the plan was basically to uh, drive the Russians away from the Eastern Front. And this was the reason why the Ukrainians invaded the Kursk region. Basically go into Kursk, force the Russians to uh, take manpower from the eastern uh, battlefield into the Kursk region, which basically leave uh, the eastern battlefront open for the Ukrainians to come and take over. At least, that is what the article is saying. Now, in terms of the little snippet of things that I got from the article, it is similar to other articles that I've read that come from the, the West, the Western media. The article talks a lot about Russians losing this and losing that. On two occasions in the article, and it is a very short article, it emphasizes that the Russians lost at least 100,000 men. So at the beginning of the invasion and much recently, that the Russians lost 100,000 men or so. But what is so interesting with the article and other articles is that they often say this and that about Russians losing this and that, about Russians' mass casualty. However, the articles and this one, they do not indicate anything about Ukrainian loss or Ukrainian manpower. In this case, what is happening in Ukraine, it is bad for the Ukrainian people and for the Ukrainian state. Yes, we are in a wartime and we are bombarded heavily as a global community with information okay misinformation the war in ukraine as much as it is a hot war it is heavily so of an information war it is highly an information war yes people are dying men are dying on both sides of the front on the russian side and on the ukrainian side however the information warfare is raging rapidly and everyone in the world is getting destroyed by the information warfare, all of us. Because we are getting this, we are getting that. And when you look at what is being said, especially in uh, the Western media, they sound either suspicious or we are getting false from the Western media. Perhaps they could be right that the Russians are losing men all over the place, ammunition and uh, uh, vehicles all over the place. However, are the Ukrainians losing anything? What are the Ukrainians casualties. We want to know. We need to know. So as much as the Ukrainians are performing well, 
We cannot say that the Ukrainians are not taking in losses from the Russians. They are. But the Western media is not saying it. Now, as much as the article is saying that the Ukrainian invasion of the Kursk region could have been a diversion or that it was a diversion, the article, once again, is saying that because it did not achieve the objective, which basically was the invasion of Kursk, which would have basically led the Russians to send troops from the Eastern Front into Kursk, which then would have left the Eastern Front open for the Ukrainians to secure. But according to the article, it is not happening or it hasn't happened because now the Russians are advancing to the Podkrov uh, city or region. As a result, the article seemed to be saying that Ukraine's invasion of the Kursk region was a failure. But then it is interesting though. You are telling us that the invasion was a diversion and as a result a failure. But then you throw in uh, the article, the Russians uh, losing 100,000 or so men at the beginning of the war and also losing another 100,000 or so men at this time, just in recent times. That is excluding all the possible losses that uh, Western media have calculated of the Russians. That is between the beginning of the war to recent times. But then you are telling us that the offensive, the Kursk offensive or the Kursk invasion was a failure. But at the same time, you are saying that the Russians are advancing to Polskruv, uh city or region. But you are highlighting the fact that they are losing uh, thousands of munitions and vehicles, as well as hundreds of thousands or thousands of men. But at the same time, if Ukraine is being bombarded and Ukraine is losing ground, I don't know what to make of this. It seems as if... It seems as if the articles or the writers of the articles, they themselves are confusing themselves. It is as if they are left with nothing to say or that they too are getting caught up in their propaganda to the point where the propaganda is taking over them. It is having negative impact on them. I don't mean here to be disrespectful, but at least since the beginning of the war, it has occurred to me that what is happening, as much as it is a hard war, it is a misinformation war. It is a misinformation campaign. Yes, the Ukrainians are fighting for their lives. They are fighting for their country. Whether they are right or wrong, whether the Russians were right to invade or not, we can then say that perhaps the Ukrainian cause, maybe it wasn't hijacked by the West, but the West are using the fact that the Ukrainians are determined to fight back to Western advantage. To the point where, as many are saying and have been saying, fighting Russia to the last Ukrainians. And that what seems to be happening. But again, my friends, I hope you tell me what you think and I want to hear what you think. Because this is very interesting. Now we are getting from the article, we are getting an idea of what the objective of Ukraine's Kursk invasion was. Based on the fact that Yes, the Russians are fighting back in Kursk. Now you have Putskrovt being taken over or the Russians are advancing rapidly. So in this case, it seems as if the Ukrainians probably got themselves into an unpleasant situation while the Western media and Western officials and prominent figures in the West were basically chairing the Ukrainians because they basically thought this was an information blow against the Russians or at the Russians, an information uh, warfare, a propaganda campaign, which now more information is coming out. And it seems that the situation is not exactly as we were told. Once again, my friends, I hope that you tell me what you think and I want to hear what you think. But I'm going to end here. Now, I want to thank you a lot for being a member of the Echoing Voice community. And I want to thank you also a lot for watching the Echoing Voice. Peace.